Welcome to my Hollywood. Do, do, From do, Ab66. Do, 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 do. <laughs> they will forever be known as Ab66. Uh, what's up, everyone? It's Nate from Truly Daybok with another episode of the Daybok cast. This is episode 122. We're getting to, I don't know, some milestone. I mean, 120 is maybe kind of a milestone. 150? I don't know. I don't 125? Know. Hundred, Who knows? One fifty is definitely a thing. Um, when are we gonna hit one fifty? <laughs> like, uh, like twenty eight weeks. <laughs> so, <laughs> not, um, end of the year ish. Yeah, so, so it's close to the end of the year essentially. So, yep. Um, so if you don't know what Truly Daybuck or the Daybuck Cast are, uh, we are a podcast that and a YouTube channel that discusses K-pop and Korean entertainment industry. Uh, sometimes we talk about dramas or variety shows or whatever, um, or just general or politics occasionally. <laughs> yeah, or being in Korea and Japan. Um, but yeah, if you like the show, check us out on YouTube, or we also are on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, um, and uh, SoundCloud. And. Not <laughs> Not, Not SoundCloud. Any- no, what did I miss? What's the one I missed? Spotify. Spotify. I get Spotify and SoundCloud mixed up because <laughs> we used to be on SoundCloud and we left SoundCloud to be put on Spotify. Yep, <clears throat> we're on Spotify now. Uh, review us on iTunes. Like, subscribe to the channel. All that jazz, uh, and especially join our Discord. It's mucho lit. Um, mucho if you want to talk to us. Uh, that's definitely the best way to talk to us. We're always in there talking about K-pop or random other stuff with gaming. Just We have channels for everything. So uh, if you uh, want to talk to us about literally anything, that's the way to do it. Nate can ban you um, for your IOI opinions. Yeah, you know, ban, like wonderful yeah, stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. We Yeah, we do fun stuff like song ratings. We did IOI song rate, and I kicked someone because they gave Get It a zero. Um <laughs> And that's the you, worst you opinion I've ever Cooper seen. For giving, uh, I unmodded Nomen Cooper Nomen for Nomen. giving, yeah, very, very, very a three out of ten, um, because that's a travesty. So yeah, it's all fun though. Um, as always, usually there's three of us, Jacob at school. Um, but as always, I'm joined by Andrew, who usually has three things. Uh, pretty pretty hectic weekend this week. Uh, first today we've got some uh wrestling history quote unquote to be made so basically the wwe is like the only like big company now but then basically these other wrestlers that were wrestling in japan um cody rhodes who's the son of a really big wrestler named dusty rhodes rest in peace uh he basically partnered with the owners of the jacksonville jaguars who just have like a god awful ton of money and they're like let's just make a wrestling company like out of the blue basically so they're having their first pay-per-view tonight so that's actually going to be pretty exciting like if you were watching like wrestling in the 90s there was this thing called the uh, monday night wars where basically it's just like back and forth between wcw yeah, and, w- and two, wwf right? yeah. yeah so it's it, everyone's kind of feeling it might be like that again so pretty exciting um also like this is the like a really like it's Memorial Day weekend, so uh, it's always a really great weekend in like motorsports because tomorrow it's the F1 Monaco Grand Prix and then the Indy 500 and then the Coke 600 all in one day. Like, there's actually people that have done the Indy 500 and the Coke 600, which is the NASCAR race, like in the same day before. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, They're it's, like it's super hard because then... like you're probably dead, but, like sitting in a yeah. car for like five hours and then. And then later that night, sitting in a car again for like another like three or four hours is just insane. So yeah. like people have only only rarely do it, and um, it like the last time was like like five or six years ago. But it, yeah, it's it's always a really cool like weekend to watch, especially with Monaco, because like it's the nice thing is is they always the winner of Monaco calls the winner of Indy, and the winner of Indy calls the winner of the Coke Six Hundred to like congratulate them and everything. Hmm. So that's been like a sort of what tradition. If the guy who did both won both. <laughs> that's never gonna happen. To call it's like, like for you to be that good at like it, like open like open car racing and like NASCAR is just insane. Like you'd be like a prodigy yeah. for that to happen. Um, also, if you watch Monaco, you might get to see Iron. Man fight Whiplash. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. That's like the, that's like the that, that that's pretty much the only thing I remember from Iron Man Two is that yeah, like pretty, he, he just randomly enters the mon like freaking Tony Stark randomly enters the Monaco GP and then 
he pulls out the Iron Man suit because he's getting attacked. He just, they just, yeah, yeah he just gets whiplash. Well, whiplash in cuts his car in half. Yeah, with, something yeah. like that. So I should, I, I was gonna rewatch um, all of them after, um, like, in, uh, after Endgame. So I'll, I'll get to remember more of that, the plot of that movie. Um, speaking of, uh, I guess, pop culture stuff. Um, Pretty interesting uh, thing happened last week. I don't know if you've heard of a show called Game of Thrones, but uh, had its finale. Yeah. Um, some people were happy. Don't some even, people were not very happy. You don't even watch it. I mean, I just you're I'm just bringing lazy. up your things. It's too big of a thing. To ignore. <laughs> yeah, it's too big of a thing to ignore. At this point, I'm just lazy. I, I'll probably rewatch it at some point, but I just looked at the synopsis. Even <laughs> like even with the disappointing ending, the the like. I, it just, it's just it's at least we're getting closure. At least it, they're not they're not doing okay, the Walking well, it, Dead. It, where it, it just ended. Like, we get like I'm not I'm not as mad as other people because like it's it's so hard to end a show like that like in a way that people would enjoy enjoy yeah um and still and be happy with like it, I don't know it's weird like it would be impossible to make everyone happy with an oh, ending yeah. basically because everyone um, everyone wants a different person to like win the Iron Throne so, yeah, yeah like and it people are gonna be it was rushed. Nervous. It really should have been 10 seasons. Like, George R. R. Martin said that they should have done 10 seasons. And for some reason, people are thinking that D&D, the writers, ended it because of the Star Wars thing. Yeah, because they're um, doing a Like, they wanted to make Wars. sure that they were done before they did the trilogy for Star Wars. And didn't want to pass up on that or whatever. Which sucks, because, like, yeah, it really should have been 10 seasons. But I... <laughs> we're never going to get a finite <laughs> ending with a book at this point, so, like... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't hate it. It was just... It just felt wrong. Like, it, it didn't match the tone of the rest of the show, basically. But, like, they'd kind of been leading towards that more and more the further and further away they got from the books. So, mm. oh, but well. that's not a, I, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Enough I could do a whole to, podcast on this. Yeah, so. I could do a whole well, entire uh, podcast just on it. But, I mean, again, just be glad we're getting an ending. It. Yeah, be glad we're getting an ending. They're not doing a Walking Dead where they're just like, oh, the lead character left. Let's just keep going because we make a yeah. lot of money off this. Like, like, be happy there's a finite ending, and that's the, that's what you have to say about most HBO shows. Plus, now we'll get spinoffs without Yay. D&D writing, but with the HBO quality <laughs> yeah, of, like, like, money and stuff. Yeah. So, Which is like... <laughs> One thing that maintained through the entire series was, like, cinematography, like, all that type of stuff, like, just yeah. everything. It looked insanely good. Mm, mm. The production of it was insane. It was just the writing that was bad. Yeah, but, I mean, you can, and you can always fix that. Uh, so, that's my three things. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to announce, necessarily, uh, other than just uh, go watch. Cast. Yeah, Produce Cast is doing pretty well. We got over a thousand views in a day, so that's, that's, that's bonkers numbers for us. So uh, Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, go check that out. <clears throat> yep. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess we'll move straight into topic one, the happy, fun topic. <laughs> yes, the, the thing um, that's been sitting on my computer screen this whole time here. <laughs> yeah, happy, fun topic. Um, so, I don't know, I guess you have, you have material up mm, if you want us to yeah. go, or you want me to, you want I mean, me to you, start you, with yeah, the heartfelt... Yeah, heartfelt. You, you, I, I'll, I'm just letting you, like... I'm just letting you rant at Pletus like this entire okay. topic. Like I'll I'll I'll, I'll yeah, intro yeah. it since I have all this. You'll stuff just interject. In. Okay, so yeah, basically, uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Pristine disbanded. Um, Pristine, if you don't know, was a ten-member girl group from Pletus. Um, and you probably, if you're a new K-pop fan, you wouldn't know who they are because they haven't put out anything in two years. <laughs> yep. Um, so basically, uh, they were an IOI branch. Um, so after Produce 101. Season one, um, I think seven of the ten of them were on the show. Yeah. And two members uh, made it into IOI, Na Young Kyokong. Um, so they were in IOI, and while IOI was happening, Pletus, obviously they planned on all these girls being a girl group. They put out, they put seven members into the show, and they're like, they were very clearly like trained together and like ready. Yeah. Um, so while Na Young and Kyokong were doing IOI, which only lasted nine months anyway, um, they did pre-debut activities as Pletus Girls. Um, they put out a single, and they actually they did kind of like an AKB thing where they did weekly concerts, um, like pre while they were doing pre-debut. Yeah. So you could actually go see pre-debut Pristine as Pletus Girls once a week if you wanted to. Um, 
Which was a really good idea because it built up a really good fan base. Yeah, and it's then on top just, of it's like an adv- a more advanced version because you see a lot of people like busking like in like the middle of like yeah, or yeah exactly. So it, it's like a more advanced version of that. Yeah, like, Pledis like, oh. just had the money to actually rent out a like small auditorium and do it yeah. inside and yeah. invite people. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, then like well, and then on top of that, you get the IOI fans that carry over from. IOI. Um, so yeah, after that, they put out um, Wii Woo as their debut. Um, and then, like, six months later, I want to say, they put out Wii Like. Um, so this was 2017. Both were in 2017, like, early and late 2017. And they um, both did, or at least with. And they both uh, did well, especially Wii Woo. Yeah. Like, that one has Yeah, like Wii Woo did numbers. really, really well. Um, Wii Like did, did really well for a new girl group, too. Uh, just, it didn't. Mm- it didn't hit the full numbers of we like or we will. Yeah, here let me let me look up. I'm gonna type for a second. Well, I mean, as of now, but... like we will has like 31 million, and like, okay, 31. We like has and like 14, like 15. Yeah, something like you basically yeah. about like half. So I mean, yeah. yeah, that's after this point. So like usually, like when you're talking about Nugu Nugu, like after like two years, some of them don't even have like five million views for their yeah, most popular music videos. Most of like. Even, like, other IOI branches, like, Gugudan I saw when we were doing the rating, uh, a girl like me had, like, 9.9 million, so it was, like, really close to 10, but that's been out for two years, like... Yeah, yeah, so when you're talking about, especially with, like, IOI branches or people that are coming out of IOI, um, I mean, I probably the only person that probably beat them would probably be, like, Chunga. That's probably the only one. No, yeah, Chunga, I mean, Chunga... some Uju so Now, now Uju... If you look at actual sales, because we were looking at this earlier anyway... Yeah, just to really make Chunga, who's been declined. Well, it's kind of cheating because why don't you know has like a million sales, <laughs> like. It, but I think that was like digital and stuff. Okay. Where usually it's just tracked physical, I think. Um, but then, um, yeah, Uju Sonio is growing. Like Uju Sonio is the only group that is like, conti- Uju Sonio and Chunga are the ones who've like found their niche and are actually like maintaining and growing. Meanwhile. The rest of them are, yeah, just falling <laughs> off a cliff. Like, like Gugudan and Wikimiki, Wikimiki are falling off a cliff in terms of sales. And then I think Daya is doing okay, but they're just maintaining a very small fan base. Like, it's very mm-hmm. much lower compared to, like, Chonga and Uju yeah. Sonia. God, how, did, how so, the yeah, hell did Daya outlive freaking... That, that, that's literally <laughs> what I said. I was like, if you asked me at the end of 2017 which group would disband first, Pristine would have been last on my yeah. list, and well, Daya like, easily would have been first. Because you have, like, again, like, if you don't, like, Nayong is the leader of freaking, or like, she's like the leader of IOI, and then mm-hmm. Kill Killing is... So they have super popular members of IOI that yeah, are in yeah. this group. Um, most of the yep. members had exposure on the show, so that's like a built-in they fan base right fans, there. Yeah. yeah. So the thought, and granted, I guess Dia was the same thing. Like Dia literally existed as a group, but well, yeah, but they existed as a group before the show with no fans. Yeah, <laughs> and then got on the show to gain fans. Um, and like where this the, was a new group, and, they're like. We're gonna put you out there. You're gonna get tons of exposure, so you get a bunch of fans right away. And pretty, I'm, I'm guessing. Like, start again, off I, with I, I still bang. haven't gone back to watch season one, but I'm pretty much the only person they gave a shit about. Was, like Cheyun, like they, like Cheyun was probably. <clears> the <throat> Kathy one did really well. Oh, Kathy probably. Yeah, and those are the only on, two members that were she on. Was on. Yeah, because she was on like. <clears throat> she was on like rap. On pretty. Was she was on? She was on. She was on pretty, on pretty rap star. Yeah, so yeah. she has. Yeah, she's. On, um, so she's had some like screen time, but like but time before. Th- so. Those were the only two members from Daya that were on the show. Yeah, so like um, literally, like, so. no one else is like. But they both known quantities. Yeah, but they did they did well there. Um, but yeah, like so yeah they they debuted with like Bang and then so yeah it was they were both within 2017 and then we didn't hear anything for like eight months, um and then we got Pristine V, which is a subunit, um out of nowhere pretty much, um. And that did not do great. Um, I don't know how it did in sales. The music videos are really low. Um, it's like it's it's only at like six million right now. Which is, oh wait, no, okay. Good. Oh no, 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 no. It's all right. No, this did really well I, on their official channel. They have seventeen million. Oh shit! What? So it has, it has more views than we like. That might that might be um, international fans, though. I feel that's that's the oh that's yeah sort of like the Probably. that's sort of the like the catch twenty two of doing a song like that is, uh, it's a cool style, but a lot of 
people in Korea don't necessarily gravitate towards. Yeah, like, I, yeah, that's why I was like, I don't really know. Unless you're like the sales. YG or like I don't know, like unless you're like Big Three, like it's not really gonna mm-hmm. find an audience over there. Essentially, unfortunately, because I freaking get it is a god tier song. Essentially, it's amazing. Like it was, yeah, it was yeah. one of your favorite songs of 2018, if I remember correctly. Well, I think it's one of my it's one of my top ten K-pop, K-pop songs, songs of all, of all time. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so, you just and pretty much like in the aftermath of Pristin V's, like, oh, I can't wait to like till Pristin comes back and like we can see something like this, like with the main group or whatever. Like, there's yeah, a lot well, of, like, and also like it. they, it was pretty clear they set up like Pristin H two because Pristin V V was supposed to stand for villains, and they took like the older, more like girl crush mature members, and like all the cuter younger members were left over. So it was like pretty clear they were setting up Pristine Age, like Pristine Heroes, and they would do like a more fun, cuter song probably. Yeah. And that just never happened. Um and all the while during this there's a ton of drama with Kyla. Um like she got hate on a lot from during the entire span of the stuff for just being like considered overweight or like because she wasn't super skinny um like idol level skinny um basically she got a lot of hate <laughs> yeah she yeah look, basically yeah she, and she was mal- only she she's like only like being. 15 so yeah, she kind of like part. she's growing and needs to like not be malnourished like she hasn't um, graduated high school yet that's how young she is like even now yeah, yeah. so yeah um So, yeah, that was all happening, like, even before all this. So, and she, like, basically left Korea and went back to the U.S. And, like, people were spotting her in California and stuff. So, like, Like, everyone everyone knew she... That whole thing where she's working at, like, a carnival or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, um, literally nothing else to do, or just, like, trying yeah, to Yeah, I mean, you need a job or whatever, yeah. Yeah, because um, like, you literally, well, granted, like, tra- or idols I mean, are she's, pretty broke, like, until, like, th- their third or fourth year, essentially. Yeah. But, I mean, like, yeah, she, it's it's nothing compared, like, trying to, like, support yourself on your own is nothing compared to, like, uh, I'm sure having, she went back home. Yeah, like, literally but going back still, home like, and everything. still, so. like, growing up, you're gonna want a job, like, job experience and stuff, like, Yeah, because, like, well, that, whatever, that must like, be an interesting, that must have been an interesting interview. It's like, what's your prior job experience? Uh, I was an idol in Korea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> does that make you, does that make you qualified enough to work at a carnival? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if carnivals require any qualification at all. <laughs> yeah. Usual people working at them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there is that going on, and it's just like Pletus is not known for doing well with girl groups. After school was like after school did really well for a, a long time, and then just kind of like faded into non-existence, like out of nowhere. Like Pletus after seventeen happened, Pletus just stopped Dropped, doing yeah. anything with after school. Like after school still isn't disbanded somehow, even what? though half no. <laughs> they're not You're officially joking. disbanded. <laughs> I have never stupid. seen news that said after school disbands, but members have left for years now, like and, literally yeah. years. And um, in a similar way, before again, it, it's weird to think of New West as like struggling, but before Produce One One Season Two, that was a dead group, or they were DOA essentially. Yeah. Like they, well, yeah, they couldn't yeah, exactly. They, like they weren't. Their sales were mediocre compared to again. That's the thing that was that was the rough part of them going on Produce One One Season Two is that literally this group is they're the seniors to yeah, 17, seventeen and they could never mm-hmm. like they never outsold them whatsoever. Yeah, so, yeah, they had yeah. No, and I mean no like after a certain action. point, yeah, just Pledis just gave up and it's like, but, fine, yeah. we'll throw you on, we'll throw you on this like free for all yeah. of a show. Well, yeah, it it's it's pretty clear that Pledis before seventeen. Pletus could only really manage one group. They had After School and they had Newest, and they completely, like, abused, like, not abused, but, like, um, neglected. abandoned Newest. Neglected, yeah, neglected's the word I was looking for. Neglected Newest, and, because After School did well, and Newest never went anywhere. And then 17 happened, and they kind of blew up themselves, and they do a lot of self production, and, like, they kind of, I feel like, yeah, like, 17 handled like a themselves self, yeah, more. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a well oiled machine at this point. Like, Pledis probably yeah. doesn't do shit when it comes to, yeah. they're just like, do you so, want to come? We're making a comeback, and they're, like, probably like, okay. Like, the, the, the people, the people yep. at Pledis just find out that they're, like, doing new music at, at yeah. some point. Or so yeah, 
17 came out and they just dropped after school and focused everything on 17. Um, and I think post 17, they can definitely handle at least multiple groups just yeah, because they've gotten a, a lot bigger because of 17. Huge. Yeah. And like we said, I feel like 17 probably handles themselves pretty well. So yeah, it, it made sense like, okay, okay, we're going to try a new girl group. Um, like we, we have 17. We want to have the female 17. 17 they self essentially pr- pristine yeah. self-produced their songs. Yeah. All of their albums has self-production. Like most of the songs I think have self-production credits. Um, and like so, yeah, it was like clear they wanted a new seventeen uh, girl group or whatever. But then, yeah, they just they, they still couldn't support another group. It was they just completely screwed this group over that had so much potential, and like it doesn't make any sense. It, like so, there's two two things I think happened. One, I think something happened with the girls themselves, like between the girls themselves. Like, it, I mean, it's possible. We'll we'll never know. Yeah. Or William, we'll never know because they, they, like, you know, nobody will ever put like, especially in Korea, no one's gonna. Put well, I think Kylo blast. might. <laughs> but oh, Kylo might. Kylo might be a little bit. Yeah, um, I love Kylo. So, <laughs> or but like, I don't know. I never got that vibe. I mean, you never know behind the scenes what their really their real relationship yeah. is. They're, all idols are putting on acts for you. Like, um, you're. But then, the other one of the other. Th- like ideas I had is after how they treated Kyla, the other members just said like "fuck you." Yeah, basic maybe. Like decided we don't if if Kyla's not here, we're not going to do this, and like kind of stood behind her was the other thing I'm thinking, and that kind of just but like screwed them over and like that's possible. Uh, it also not might not happen might not make sense because pristine v did happen after kyla left but i don't know it there's something went on behind the scenes like i i don't believe pletus is that that uh incompetent to just let this group that they invested all this money into yeah, money. Fall apart. It's, it's, and remember like guys at the end of the day it's a business so mm. if you're paying all these people, you might as well use them. This is what exactly like our talking points when, when people put all the freaking post-it notes all over, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, over the windows and like, everything. Like you, you, you're paying them; they're employees. You might as well make money off them, right? So yeah, and the, and they they did well. Like it, it financially doesn't make sense to just leave them for dead for no reason. I don't know. Maybe, so well, I think something had to have happened. Another, what? who knows if we'll find out. Another sort of pervasive idea or theory is that um, because Pledis actually, like, off the record, is it like apparently like an yeah, actual well, like its own like thing? So it's basically just like Stone Music Entertainment and Pledis and Pledis, yeah, yeah, like managing That's, from his nine and Eyes One because I'm pretty yeah, sure like I was Pledis is the that. one. Yeah, they practice at Pledis's like facilities. They like. Like they work with like trainers from Pledis. Like, believe, yeah, like, they. Like, so yeah, off the record is situation. owned by Stone, a subsidiary of Stone. But yeah, I, what because Stone Music is low and they're they really don't train a lot of people. They like Lowen had Ayu and like that was like their only big artist and she's one artist like one person. There's you know, so Lo- like Stone Music Entertainment is like one of the billion subsidiaries of like CJ well, or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. But then they like became CJ and stuff. But like the thing is like that company itself like didn't have like the training capacity I think for like large groups. Like groups like this. Yeah. So they, they work like most of their stuff is like like Stone Music Entertainment's like. Haze, where she's like doing her stuff on her own. Like they mostly work with like yeah. individual idols. They don't do groups for the most part. I mean, there's a lot of groups that post them like because of distribution, um, like whatever. A lot of like if you look on the Stone Music uh, YouTube channel, there's a lot of groups on there, but most of them aren't done by Stone Music internally. Like yeah, Stone Music's basically just like a glorified like distribution service with some idols at this point. Yeah, they don't really have the infrastructure. I don't think they have the infrastructure comparative to like a uh, a company like a Pledis, like um, God. I- I mean, because with uh, every time there's been an Iowa or uh, a, a, a produce group, there's they've always handed it off to a different company. Like for, mm-hmm. uh, like yeah. for IOI, it was uh, it was uh, MBK. Uh, yeah, no, not MBK. It was um, what was Jesse's company? Yeah, for, and yeah. A- Ailey. 
Ailey uh, and Jesse. It, it's why can't I think of it? It's a garbage company. YMC. <laughs> YMC, that's right. And they, like, completely screwed Iowa yeah, over. Yeah, so they, they didn't go back to the YMC. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a thing. It doesn't seem like they... Or they want someone else to, like, handle, like, that training and logistics aspect of it, which is why I get that they're, they're doing it with Plutus. So, yep. the theory, or, like, the the thinking is that because... Well, Fremis is doing pretty well, pretty popular, and... Yeah, and Eyes One's... Eyes One's just a monster huge. at this point in Korea. Like... Pristine kind of became a redundancy, essentially, where it's why yeah. are we focusing our time and effort into this, like, fledgling girl group that no one cares about, unfortunately, when you have eyes one. Like, yeah, it's, it's no contest, unfortunately, but, yeah, that, mm-hmm. that, that might have something to pl- uh, do with it. Um, and then the Oh, yeah, I, th- or, I think that 100%. Like, that was one of my other talking points was, I think from us and eyes one definitely had a part to play in this i which sucks like that they have to make Shoulder even <laughs> like well no i'm not blaming them i don't think no a lot of people are unfortunately a lot of but people i just are, like, mean bla- a lot of people are blaming like uh like oh, 17 well, those, or those people are dumb like, granted, like blaming they, the actual group is yeah group they have nothing to do with it or it's um, some like the other some people are the other way around where it's like Christian are absolute flops blame. compared to seventeen and oh, New yeah, West no, and yeah. from people, Islam, I'm just like yeah. people are crazy like they did they did well people are dumb yeah um but yeah I, I, they think they 100 percent like the fact that Pletus also had to help manage those two groups is definitely oh uh, did they help they didn't help with one on one though did they that was one on one I believe was because one on one had their they, their, okay, they basically yeah, they made their they own They had a different label. company. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was when they made Off the Record. Or no, they made Swing event. Entertainment, which is for one. Or they made Swing, that's right. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. There's a multitude of problems here, and really, for me, it didn't, like, it sucks, because I've... Pristine was my number one IOI branch, and I'm a huge IOI fan. Like, I love Pristine so much. You're the IOI master. Um, they're my <laughs> highest rated group out of any group we've ever rated because I gave all of their singles a 10 and get it an 11. <laughs> so their average is 10.2. Yeah. Uh, um, but, like, this was... I I was prepared for this for, like, literally a year now. Like, ever since after Get It, we got nothing. And we were getting, like, no V-Lives, we were getting no updates, we were getting no information. Kyla was in America, Kyo Kyung was doing tons of stuff in China. Um, and like, being, like, pretty successful at it, too. And being very successful. Um, yeah, I knew, even if we did get a pristine comeback, I had a feeling it was going to be a Uju Sonio situation where Kyo Kyung just stayed in China and kept yeah. doing Chinese. She gets China even though she's, par- she's not part of a separate company... I think they would probably just want her to be there making money. <laughs> yep, making um, money, yeah. One of the few things that so, can make money, unfortunately. Which I'm 100% <clears throat> sure that's why uh, Kyo Kyung ended up re-signing her contract. Cause, so, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so here in the article, it, it says, Nayoung Roa, Yuha, Onwoo, Rena, Xion, and Kyla terminated their contracts, and Kyo Kyung, Yehana, mm-hmm. and Sungyun are staying. I don't know why Yehana and Sungyun yeah. ended yeah, up staying. So like, what the hell are they going to do there? My theory... Is Sunyun is she was the main one who produced for them, so, so I wouldn't be surprised if she stays and pro- just produces. Um, I mean, what I'm afraid of is what if they just let you here? You're producing for the next girl group that we do. No, that's what I think. I think I wouldn't be surprised if that's what she wanted. Oh. Um, she probably was sick of this and was like, "I'll rather just be, or just be solo ballad because she's that's a really true. she was her main she's their lead vocalist and she's really good at it." Um, and she's like really good at ballads. Go watch Girl Spirit second week in a row that I'm because <laughs> she was on that. Wait, wait, this is like like two days in a row. Yeah, you're saying her, freaking go, go watch her, Girl Spirit. Her performance of Desperado is one of the best K- like performances I've seen in from a K-pop artist. Um, but Yehana, I have no idea what she's gonna do. <laughs> she was like one of the least like popular members and like. Wasn't really like I don't know. I mean, hey, ch- I mean, cash that paycheck, I guess. Like, dude, you I mean, just... they were all talented, and yeah. like, I Yehan is great, but like, she wasn't like, I don't know, maybe she's gonna act or something. Maybe mm. who knows? Maybe she'll just be in the new girl group. Maybe they said, like, hey, we'll put you in the new girl group. Speaking um, of, uh, if there is a new girl if group, if there is a new girl group, because um, 
what I was seeing on the internet or I mean we have Kieran Jan yeah we, 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 got the, we got the kittens but another thing that I um, discovered was apparently um, in Pletus's, uh auditions they're literally only asking for male, male um, oh okay like, trainee like basically they're, they're not asking for females at all and it, that, unless they're like yeah. hiding some they've been hiding some like this whole time like i don't know besides like yeah. if they're hiding anyone besides like if there's anyone locked inside the Pletus dungeon besides uh, like people that like they're actually debuted in pristine like i don't know but mm-hmm. yeah me maybe we don't get Who another knows? girl group in this case maybe yeah, they're just done that's with possible girl group. yeah that's the thing they might just be done with girl groups what all, all together and just be like we're just gonna cash all this money in on freaking 17 and like they they mm-hmm. print money at this point so yeah i don't i don't yeah. know what's gonna happen with um so if people that aren't familiar with the, <laughs> the term kirin chan or the uh the kirins uh so, uh, from Produce 48, I- Ikawan and uh, Ho Yunjin, like, super yeah. popular, like, both made it to, like, the finale and everything. Khan should have been in freaking Wano, or, or uh, Eyes One, God, not Wano One. Eyes One. Um, so, like, a lot of popularity. Obviously, Khan was formerly in After School. Uh, they don't have plans for them at this point. Like, literally, Khan like, is they. are still in After School, okay? <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna relaunch after school, and it's just yeah. Like, well, just I gone. mean, that was the whole point of after school was members graduated, and it. <laughs> but there's no point if everyone graduated. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. If you, there's no the graduation system oh, goes out the window but, when wait, everyone graduates. Hmm. Wait, did they actually? According to Pletus's wiki page, it says till 2019. Oh, they did disband. <laughs> when did they disband? <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. So this is the same thing that we knew for a long time ago. Apparently, ten days ago, Lizzie mentioned that they unofficially disbanded. <laughs> so it still isn't official. I was right. They've never officially disbanded. <laughs> Just put them out of their misery at this point. Seriously. Well, because they they only have like <laughs> two members or whatever. Yeah, I really don't. I, um, I'm I'm interested in seeing what they'll do with um with Khan and. Hyunjin, like it's funny because I was looking on because Khan started like posting on Instagram like recently, and like all her mm. comments are like "Leave Pledis, leave Pledis, they're gonna trap you in the dungeon." Like, like yeah. no one wants to see here. Just and she probably knows it better than anyone else because after again she was there at the tail end of after school. Like she's been here all this time when not getting yeah. a push. Like it, which is why they threw her onto like she's. What twenty six, twenty seven now? Or uh, yeah, she joined? Oh, no, no, twenty four, twenty. She's like almost my age. Like, and she's yeah. She, she just got thrown on freaking produce forty eight because they had no idea what to do with her. So I yeah. And I'm kind of worried that we're almost like a year after like produce forty eight started airing, and they still have not done anything with them. I haven't even seen anything from. Oh Play yeah, no, I I think I think Pledis is probably just done with girls. Well, if you if like you said that their their um, auditions don't mention female trainees at all, then like they're probably just like it's never been worth it for them. Screw it. And I mean, from a business Even though standpoint, both after makes- school and pristine were great, but yeah, yeah. guy groups are always make, yeah. going to make more money. Yeah, from a business standpoint, it's better to put your money into a boy group because even a middling boy group is going to have a, a ton of make dedicated more fans. Than- yeah, like yeah, a middling boy group will make way more than pretty much any but like the biggest girl groups. Yeah, like the disparity like, between like success or like financial success between like the the biggest girl groups and like the like medium or like lesser the next, like new group yeah. like girl groups it's it it's staggering. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from financial you standpoint you have to be twice or black pink yeah. like or to make Red money Velvet, yeah. or like for it to be worth it. Yeah. So like even the next year down that's doing okay is not making a ton. So, yeah, I mean, what do you think will happen to, like, the members, I guess, just to close off the, the topic? <laughs> I don't know. I Our dream, like always, with all disbanded groups now is that Psy becomes their savior, <laughs> saves Pristine, yeah, Psy gets is the, the seven and, and no, members that that That'd that be a left. lit group. Like, if, if you oh, just take awesome. all the yeah, seven... I mean, I mean that, well, Kyla's probably done as an idol, but if you... Like, that's, six well, of them. yeah, exactly. Like, even just the six of them, like, it... Like, that would be cool to see. I don't know if it'll happen. I, I think if Psy wants to, he could easily do oh, it. Oh, he if could they, do it like the staff. If, like, if they wanted to be stay in a group and they and he wanted to to sign them, I think 
that would be the easiest decision and, for and all no, of them. No one would say to no make. to Psy. No, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. No one, like, you're not that's gonna, like you're on a rocket to the that moon. That would be their best any, option. Yeah, you're on a rocket to the so, moon if you have anything to do with Psy at this point. Um, yeah. So like, I, I said, in, I said in Discord, like Psy should just become the THQ Nordic of, of yeah, K-pop. Yeah. Just, just sign take up everyone. Dead, and, dead IPs and. <laughs> And hope yeah, they, they'll just like they'll that's why I said if if Psy if Psy signs them and recreates Pristine, I will invest in his company, and then I just need I will find a way. I don't know if it's publicly traded, but I will find a way to invest in Psy's company, and then eventually I just need to become the majority shareholder and I turn it into IY Entertainment because <laughs> he had already starts it for me. <laughs> yeah, he did all the hard work for you, so yeah. I, I, yeah on, he, on my end. he left YG, so he can yeah. get so me out of YG. Yeah. On my end, I, yeah, I really don't know what's going to happen with these girls, in all honesty. Uh, I'd like to, obviously, I wish the best for them, especially for, um, yeah, like, Nayang had to go through two disbandments. She was, yeah, she, twice she's oh, a rookie yeah. of she's the year. She's a leader. Yeah, and twice yeah, she's. Yeah, she was also the leader of both of those groups, yeah. Yeah, so for her to go through this groups. twice, like, is, that sucks. Like, you, yeah. you, you wouldn't wish that on anyone, in all honesty. And <clears> yeah. I'm at the. Um, I think because you know like the stages of grief like you're at like the first like uh, you're like yeah. the denial oh, and anger like yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in acceptance already right now oh I'm I've been in acceptance for forever. I'm in the bargaining stage where I'm just like I would rather you throw them on like the next girl season of produce oh I was than- I was that's what I was gonna say like if if they don't stay as a group I and they split up and just go to random companies I 100% guarantee at least one or two of them is on the next season of produce but like Imagine Nayoung being on Produce again the, after making no, the I, final. I don't know if Nayoung or Kyokung. Well, Kyokung is staying with Pletus and is going to be doing stuff in China. I don't think Nayoung would, but I wouldn't be surprised to see like Unwu or Reina or someone if they go to like a smaller company. Because that smaller company, you're like almost guaranteed to make the group. Like, I feel like so like it would be a win for a smaller company to to do that. Yeah. Um. It, I mean, it depends on where they go and what they're doing, but and what they want, obviously. But mm. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a couple of them on the next season of produce if they stay in the industry. Mm. So yeah. So yeah, I guess just closing thoughts. I mean, it sucks. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of yeah. Like I, w- I was kind of expecting. Yeah, you it, were like, angry. I was angry just because like this whole situation's just been bullshit and also maybe I think CLC you got your in the hope dungeon, up yeah like like and then g- exiting the dungeon kind of got my hopes up and I mean I'm saying mm-hmm. this as someone that hasn't necessarily been in love with all of Pristin's music necessarily it's just yeah there's way too much like this is probably like when you look at like a textbook definition of like wasted potential I think Pristine probably takes the cake in oh, terms of yeah. in terms of like popularity um there's like appeal um and actual like good music like they're they had all three and for it to end with on such a whimper like you don't even get a goodbye single or anything like this or just yeah, like yeah. even and it, they didn't even have a last chance to like release music as a group like it, for for it to go down like this is just it feels really like really bitter like in this sort of yeah, way. the last song they put out as a group was a year and a half ago, and so, so yeah, over a year and a half ago. Yeah, so and like you wouldn't think like usually there are, there have been plenty of groups for like new goos from smaller companies that they only put out music in like their first year and then just disappear off the face of the earth. You wouldn't think something of that from a big a company that makes as much money as Pledis, but yeah, and a group that did this well, like yeah. Those groups that that happens to, they get like a hundred thousand views on their music video at most. And like sometimes, like, sell like a hundred copies. Yeah, so Christine for, sold some of the best for a girl group that isn't a big three. Yeah, and so, has like huge music video views. So, so hopefully it, this is it serves as kind of like a I don't know, just like a cautionary tale for the companies that'll handle. Um, uh, Eyes one members um, in the aftermath of uh, when whenever they end up disbanding, basically yeah, just don't just don't end up being like Pledis. Essentially, just you have to. It, yeah, it, we'll it, 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 it's not that hard. In all honesty, like just treat Pledis. them right. Yeah, Starship, don't be like Pledis. Yep, and I thought, but I don't think they will be. Like, no. well, we, we said that we said Woolen, that before. <laughs> we said that's that before. true. Yeah. But I mean, Starship, 
Starship's shown like Starship can definitely handle multiple groups. They've done it for a oh, long yeah. time. Cesar, Monstax, like now Ujisonio, Ujisonio, Ujisonio is like so yeah, they've kill it with solo artists. Um so I don't think they're I think like Wan and Wan Young in being like one of the most popular people ever in, in the Korea. whole show and <laughs> in Eyes One, like her group's pretty set. Um and I think Willem Willem's probably been ready to put out a new girl group for a long time. I mean, they are. Um, I mean, they are technically because they're they're putting out the one yeah. with Takashi Jury. It's just I don't know what they're going to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. With, I th- um, well, I think I think they'll um, be in Jayon will be in that Jayon will be in that uh hmm. group. Um. Also, my dream is that well, my dream is that Starship signs Nako, but <laughs> I, I would be okay if Willem signed to Nako HKT, too. Nako, please. You you said it in your own words that their popularity is going to be gone by the time they're done. Maybe we'll see. You said that when we were in Japan I mean, at the concert. At, at You're this like po- at this point, though, like they might uh, with 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 the st- uh, like the state that like AKB48 group is in. Yeah, maybe no. they might need something like they might need something like Sakura and Nako coming back. But that's for another that's yeah. for another podcast. Yeah, that's so, a different topic. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Pristine disbanding? Do you hate it? Do you want to, like, throw a rock through Pletus's window or something? I don't know. Yeah. Do you want to write an angry worded letter to the... Like, I, I tweeted I at Pletus. I mean, they're probably not going to fucking read that <laughs> shit. I, I, said, I said a brain-dead squirrel could probably run a, girl, a freaking girl group better than Pletus has. Like, at this point, like, it's, 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 it's no contest at this point. So... Definitely, you can vent. You can vent your co- your thoughts, your angry thoughts in the comments below. You can give your best memories of Pristine, what were your favorite songs, all that stuff. Definitely, leave us your thoughts in the comments. Yep. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Fuck Pletus. <laughs> Fuck Pletus. Indeed. I don't. I don't know how I didn't say that that whole time. I think it's an amazing track. Just too similar to like what we've gotten. Um, mm-hmm. I think. Like with something new, I think that was definitely the right direction as far as like finding some new sounds that were like nice and fresh, but still within her own like wheelhouse. Um, yeah. Also, the MV, I thought it was really cool, and I thought that. Direction-